The military tension on the Korean peninsula has escalated dramatically following recent accusations and counterclaims between North and South Korea over drone incursions. On October 13, 2024, North Korea's general staff ordered its artillery units, including eight brigades stationed near the South Korean border, to be on high alert. This order came in response to alleged South Korean drone incursions over Pyongyang a move Pyongyang described as acts of war. North Korea's military directive reportedly included preparing older anti-aircraft artillery units, such as the KS-19 100mm guns, for wartime conditions. These units, stationed along the heavily fortified border, were told to be fully armed and ready to respond to further incursions. Pyongyang claimed that South Korean drones had crossed into its airspace multiple times earlier in the month, prompting a stern warning from North Korea's foreign ministry. Any future violations would lead to military retaliation, further intensifying the already volatile situation along the demilitarized zone DMZ. South Korea, however, strongly denied the airspace violations, accusing North Korea of engaging in provocative tactics, such as sending propaganda balloons and waste-filled devices across the border. These actions are seen by Seoul as deliberate disruptions to the security of the region. As the two nations exchange accusations, both sides are rapidly expanding their drone programs, a new and increasingly critical aspect of military strategy in the region. In contrast to North Korea's artillery-based defense, South Korea has made significant advancements in unmanned aerial vehicle UAV, technology, emphasizing high-altitude, long-endurance, hail, and medium-altitude, long-endurance, mail, drones for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR. These drones are central to South Korea's strategy for monitoring North Korea's military activities and responding to potential threats. One of the most important tools in South Korea's drone arsenal is the RQ-4 Global Hawk, a hail UAV capable of flying at altitudes of up to 60,000 feet for extended periods. The Global Hawk can cover vast areas, providing real-time intelligence with its sophisticated radar and infrared sensors. This allows South Korea to monitor potential North Korean missile sites, military movements, and other security threats from long distances without risking manned flights. For more tactical and immediate surveillance, South Korea also uses the KUSFD, a male drone developed by Korea Aerospace Industries KI. With an operational ceiling of 30,000 feet and an endurance of up to 24 hours, the KUSFD is equipped with high-definition cameras and infrared sensors to monitor border areas like the DMZ, complementing the broader, long-range surveillance provided by the Global Hawk. Additionally, the RQ-101 Songalmi, another KI-developed UAV, is designed for reconnaissance missions at lower altitudes. This drone features a wingspan of 6.4 meters, a maximum takeoff weight of 290 kilograms, and an operational range of up to 200 kilometers. With infrared cameras and GPS slash INIST navigation systems, it provides detailed, real-time intelligence and high-resolution imagery. South Korea's collaboration with global defense companies is also shaping its drone capabilities. In April 2023, South Korea's Defense Acquisition Program Administration, DAPA, signed a Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, with Boeing to develop a new hail drone, leveraging Boeing's advanced UAV expertise. This project is set to position South Korea as a leader in next-generation UAV production, designed specifically to monitor North Korean activities more effectively. Furthermore, South Korea has integrated U.S. military technology into its ISR network. Since 2019, four RQ-4 Global Hawk drones supplied by the United States have been stationed at Seishin Air Base in South Gyeongsang Province enhancing the joint intelligence-sharing capabilities between the two allies. These drones are equipped with synthetic aperture radar and electro-optical-slash-infrared sensors, enabling the monitoring of large areas, including sensitive North Korean military installations. While South Korea has invested heavily in advanced drones for surveillance, North Korea has also made notable strides 
in its UAV capabilities. In 2023, North Korea unveiled two new drones, the Morningstar 4 and Morningstar 9, which closely resemble U.S.-designed UAVs, such as the MQ-9 Reaper and the RQ-4 Global Hawk. These drones are designed for intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and ground strike missions, marking a significant step forward in North Korea's military technology. In addition to UAVs, North Korea's missile program continues to expand. In 2023, North Korea test-fired several intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs, including the Wasong-15 and Wasong-17, which are capable of reaching the U.S. mainland. The Wasong-17, in particular, has a range of up to 15,000 kilometers, posing a direct threat to South Korea and the United States. North Korea's missile developments are complemented by efforts to improve its maneuverable, solid-fueled missiles, which are harder to detect and intercept, increasing the challenges for South Korean and U.S. missile defense systems. Despite North Korea's growing missile and drone capabilities, its ability to counter high-altitude drones remains limited. The artillery systems available to North Korea, such as the ZU-23 23mm and KS-19 100mm anti-aircraft guns, are not suited to effectively target modern mail or hail drones. These systems were designed for low-flying aircraft, not the high-altitude drones used by South Korea. To intercept drones at higher altitudes, North Korea would need modern surface-to-air missiles, SAMs, equipped with radar or infrared guidance. While North Korea has some older SAM systems, such as the Soviet-era SA-2 and SA-3, they lack the precision and tracking capabilities required to target modern, high-speed UAVs effectively. As a result, South Korea's high-altitude surveillance drones remain largely protected from North Korean artillery and older missile defense systems. The ongoing drone standoff between North and South Korea highlights the growing importance of unmanned aerial systems in modern military strategy. As both nations continue to expand and refine their drone programs, the technological arms race on the Korean Peninsula is intensifying. South Korea's sophisticated drone technologies, such as the RQ for Global Hawk and KUSFT, give it a significant edge in terms of surveillance and reconnaissance, while North Korea's efforts to advance its own drone capabilities reflect a strategic focus on psychological warfare and deterrence. The increasing reliance on drones by both nations underscores the challenges of monitoring and responding to security threats in a region defined by high stakes and rapid technological developments. As tensions remain high and provocations continue, the role of drones in shaping the future of warfare in the Korean Peninsula will only become more pronounced.